right, so I'm focusing on uh, my magnifier. I just want to see just how crisp and pre precise my EOTech can be. Like I said, I'm trying to compare apples to apples. I'm going to test it against my aim point, too. So less talking, more shooting. Let's get it. Yeah, I'll, look, as you see, I gotta fix that gong, but it's doing what it needs to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out um, my magnifier. I'm serious now, I'm gonna put the aim point magnifier behind this EOTech and just see how or which one is better. But it might be the same. All right, so now I am um, I'm running the aim point behind the EOTech. What I'm trying to see is which one's better, if they're the same, I um, just want to compare apples to apples. So let's get it. I say that thing is spot on. All right, so got a new target, same thing, out here practicing, trying to just see how I feel about this EOTech. I'm gonna tell you just from um, the few times I have shot it, I really do like this window. It, it makes me feel like I can get on it faster, but I don't know if that's the newness of it, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do the same thing, um, start out with bill drill, then Mozambique, or whatever I feel. So let's go. Got a little loose then. Got a little loose. All right. I do like that. It's nice. Let me see where I am. Okay, look, I got room to play. Let's go. Like that, like that. All right. That is a nice shot. I don't know um, who, who, who would shoot the MCX and not love it, but this is about the EOTech. Man, I'm leaning more towards this than the aim point, but I'm not going to make that decision just yet. Um, yeah. All right, so I've been running uh, the EOTech and loving it, but I have had my aim point, and um, it's time for me to try this out right behind shooting with, with the EOTech to give it a fair, fair shake. Because you know how you just have that new bug and, and you love something that's new? Let me see. Let's go. Okay, so I gotta be fair. The aim point, it's just, it's just as easy to get on target, right? But I do like the, the donut of death that they call. Um, but yeah, I can't say anything bad about my aim point right now. So let's move to the next drill. So another pistol to pistol transition.
my first thought was, I guess because we're, you know, the whole American thing, we like everything big. The big window just sucked me in. But I will say this, um, I have been using the aim point forever, right? So you can't miss what you never had. So I was used to that. And you know that aim point, it still delivers. But this, this window, it, to me, is a game changer because it makes my situational awareness, it's like A1. Um, I don't feel constricted. I don't feel like I'm looking down this, this tube, right? But at the same time, I can't discount um, how good the aim point's been, good, been to me. All right, so did you guess which one I chose? I went with the EOTech. Yes, 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 yes. This guy is bad ass. That's the best way I can put it. It is one the spot to ride on my rail, at least for right now. At least for right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, ex you know, exactly why. A few reasons why I went with him. So it started out, obviously, with the unboxing. I was really concerned with it being big, clunky, and twice the size of my aim point that it was going to be, um, you know, heavy and weigh down my gun. I can honestly say that I didn't, I didn't feel a difference at all. Nothing worth mentioning, so that was a non-issue. The, the thing that really made the difference was the clarity in the two-dot reticle. Oh my goodness, that blew me away. It was just so, so like crisp, you know what I mean? And with me um, shooting 300 blackout subs and supers, um, it's a no brainer to me to have the two dot reticle. Oh, by the way, what, I, what I'm running is 120 Barnes for my supers and then 190 Hornady for the subs. But yeah, when you're shooting those, it's, it's a no brainer. I think you need that two dot reticle if you can, right? And then put the magnifier on there. On there is it's awesome. I mean, it's so clear. I felt like um, it was almost a game. It, you know what I mean? It made it that easy. And with my current situation, that that's what I want. I want something that's clean, crisp, to the point. And then I loved how wide the view, how wide the view is. So. I just, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It just really ticked the boxes for me and what I have going on. Now, of course, there's gonna be some negatives to anything. Um, the one thing is the battery, battery life. Manage it, it's not that big of a deal, not an issue for me. So, talked about why the EOTech is for me. I have to say some good things about the aim point because it is an awesome optic as well. I had it for over two years, or I have it. Um, have had it for two years. and It's been on my gun, I have depended on it, and I haven't been let down by it. Um, I'm just trying something new now. Now, I like it so much that I'm not giving that aim point away. That should speak volumes. It is going to go on something else that's in the room. Okay, it's not getting tossed, not getting sold. Um, yeah, it's just time for something new for me. Everything has a time and place, and right now my time is with the EOTech. So I want to say thank you all. You know, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure that you support the video by liking, subscribing, making a comment. I mean, even if it's a, it's a negative comment, it's okay. I can take it. But just interaction is awesome because they do suppress these videos, right? And um, if you feel it in your heart, you can do it monetarily too. Check out my bio. There are ways to do it there. But if nothing else, comment and share the video. It, it's priceless. It really is. So I want to say thank you again. This is Tactic Life. And enjoy the rest of the video.